Hi everyone. Hi everyone. It's August 16, 2018. This is a video primarily about how trees are dying in Anderson, South Carolina with a rapidity that I have not seen but have really noticed this summer. Now I've been here for what, four years? And the trees, the first year, were, it was clear to me that many were diseased. Many had fungal disease. And each year, these trees have just gotten worse and worse and worse. Well, this year, this fungal disease has exploded. It is on, I'd say, virtually every single tree, though I have not inspected every tree. But what I am seeing is not just the fungal disease trees. You see that tree? It's it's sprouting a new a new branch. It's trying very hard to live. It's fighting to survive. So when you see trees that have very low like they're just sprouting these little tiny branches low on the trunk, you know that tree is fighting to survive. The trees here are really now, it is so in our face that they are dying. So I'll get into the trees in a second. But I want to show you, I want to show you that our sky here every single day it has, it's not ever going to return to its natural look, natural processes. The sun. It is either, you know, red hot candies, you know, those little red hot, that's the color of the sun. I couldn't get it, but the red around the white, the red on the outskirts, that was the color, but it had these weird offshoots of like cloud that were like hot pink. You see above it, it's it looks like lightning just sitting there in the sky. It was really pretty um, wow. It was a wow. Nothing that I have ever seen before. But I'm seeing a lot of what I have never seen before. But these things above it, okay. Well, the next evening, of course we've got that pink stuff and it's not from the sun setting because the pink is all around in all directions. Now I've posted videos on the use of lithium one of the ingredients that they are spraying down that we are breathing. But the next night it was a bright orange with the black and the white clouds above it. Um, I don't know, my camera is very old so stability, can that begin to uh, get worse if you have an old camera? I don't know. But of course the spraying continues um, but these sun sets that we are having, no, they are not normal. Not normal at all. Now, they have changed the atmosphere, the molecular composition of the atmosphere. And with all of the chemicals that they are spraying, the heavy metals, the chemicals, well, it, now I think we're seeing that reflected a lot more in the sunsets. I say that as like a question at the end. I don't know. But, you know, between the spring, the changes in the atmosphere, and the Wi-Fi world that we are living in, 
microwaves everywhere and if you don't know what you're looking at is microwave cloud all of the ripples that you see in clouds and the the rows of clouds that seem to be um, kind of exact in their distance from one another that is produced by microwaves and we are well here in Anderson the cell phone towers, the Gwen towers, the antennas, the smart meters, the Wi-Fi it, um, it's like living in a microwave oven turned on so all of this has an impact on life itself and what I'm going to show you is the life of these trees are being it's they're they're being killed somebody left me a comment saying the leaves were dropping off their trees already same here and that happens when you have very sick trees We also have two-toned trees here now. The sun, the UV rays, so intense that some of this was taken in June, in June. And already trees, the leaves, bushes, their leaves, everything was burning. But what I am seeing now is death so visible that it's really hard to, you can't, look, I guess there are people who know what's going on and they can ignore it. Some of us can't ignore it. I can't just turn a blind eye. to all of these trees that are fighting for life. And then turn a blind eye or deaf ears to everyone around me not caring. Not caring. So for those of you who have left comments and your comments tell me that you're connected to nature and you are really struggling now because you're seeing it be killed off. I, I completely identify with you. <laughs> it is every single day. I, it, it's like living in a death town. Life itself just being killed off. Now, there are some of you, based on your comments, that have said that nature was your way of feeling peace, quiet, you know, getting some, some solace from the crazy world but now you can't find it anywhere because well you're looking at something similar that's what's happening with me nature going into the woods being around nature was if there was a way that I could feel peace it was there that has been taken away from me it has been taken away from those who do have a connection you know you've retained your humanity you're connected to nature you understand how everything is connected and then you see this you know none of the trees have even 
um, healthy shapes to them. None of them are full. You can see right through them because the leaves are so small. They don't have the strength to produce a fully developed, healthy looking tree. They're not getting the sustenance that they need. They're not getting the nutrients that they need. So everything is just dying. And, and when you see this, you understand how it's all connected. We are part of the ecosystem. So the two-legged, well, they're also dying. Their souls are dying. Their spirit, it's like even they walking, walking around don't have much life in them. You see a dead tree with just a little bit of life on it and you know that tree is struggling. These trees that you're looking at right now Four years ago, when I would come to the track and look at these trees, these trees were really beautiful. And a lot of uh, what I was seeing in South Carolina, they were green. They didn't have the shapes that they are now revealing. They weren't burned on the top. And they didn't have, you know, not every tree had fungal disease. But now, you're looking at this, you see all these dead branches in this tree. This was not like this. I'd say this was not even like this last year. But now, everything is just so, it, 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 everything's just dying rapidly. Look at the look at this. This did not have that shape last year. Look, it looks like three rectangle and one large rectangle. We're seeing now our trees that have these squared off bits of them and but their the shape is really It's, their shapes are really, I, I, I can only think that it's the microwaves doing it. But it's, everywhere you go, you're looking at like two-toned trees now. The bushes, burnt, you know, you see a deeper green on one side of the tree, but where the sun really hits it the hardest, that's what you look at. These burnt, crisp leaves. But every tree is covered with fungal disease, except for the crepe myrtle. That still stands true. So, I don't know what it is about the crepe myrtle, but It is heartbreaking to see this. I, I just, even last year, I think this is the apartment complex property. Yeah. And even just last year, the trees were not like this, but now they're just exploding all over the place with, with with evidence of their immune systems just shot. Look at that. And everybody just walks around completely and utterly blind to it. When I mention it, well, one neighbor said, well, we're all going to die sometime. This woman has grandchildren.
when I mentioned she has grandchildren. She said, well, once I'm dead, I won't be thinking about them. Oh, okay, great. Great. So some of the trees are actually beginning to take a kind of squared off look to them. But you know, the other day, the same neighbor actually said to me, and this was last week, when we were getting all of that rain, one day we got a lot of rain, and they said the ground was so saturated that trees may be falling. Okay, the ground is so saturated, we got so much rain, why are the trees looking like they're dead? The leaves. They just look wilted and sagging. The branches on a tree sagging. Well, yeah, when you are having to live in this kind of area and you are connected to nature, it doesn't work to just say, okay, I'm going to ignore it for the day. This is what I see every time I go out, everywhere I go. It's very upsetting. So for all of you who relate to what I've said, I understand it's hard. I get it. I get it. Just wanted to share with you life in Anderson, South Carolina. Life actually dying in Anderson, South Carolina. Even the pine trees now covered.